What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Dauntless Outdoors. Today's episode, we're diving out of Venice, Florida. We got the whole squad. Got Ben, Jesse, Jake. Liz is back there somewhere. We're in about 45 feet right now, some artificial numbers. We don't dive here a lot, but we're gonna see how it goes. We're just trying to check some new stuff and hopefully find some good fish. So, catch you guys in the water. What's going on? It's Josh. Um, this here is one of my first dives on the first spot of the day. Got down to the bottom, saw a bunch of sheep's head, and I'm doing an online tournament, and I needed one for that, so I decided to take the shot on this guy here. Also, I got a brand new gun, so I was pretty psyched up to shoot it. Pretty good shot. I mean, it's a holding shot, nothing too crazy, but ended up being like an 18-inch sheep's head, nothing too big, but first fish of the day. What's going on guys Ben here so we concluded the first spot and uh, we moved a little farther out um, the farther out we went the viz got better and better and better um, this viz was absolutely beautiful top to bottom you can see fish swimming around all over uh, about 50 55 feet something like that um, and I'd already done a couple of dives I checked out the area and I knew there was a bunch of snappers so I slowly came down on top of the wreck was kind of hoping to pick off a little bit of a bigger snapper as you can tell, this one was pretty interested in what it was. Came over, gave me a good shot. Um, I had a really nice holding shot on this fish. I think I shot him right in the gill plate. Um, he went to go under the wreck. I just kept solid tension on him so he wouldn't go up under there. Um, pulled him right on out. Um, got my hands on him and headed up to the surface. Um, and I think that was my first snapper of the day and a really nice size snapper. I think he was like maybe 18 or 20. So really nice snapper. We're going to get a look at him here in a second. And uh, put him in the boat and got back to business. Hey guys, Josh again. We're diving a barge now. Obviously we changed from those culvert pipes. And now I'm going to the bottom. There's a bunch of glass grouper and stuff where I'm looking here, as you see right there. And spotted a pretty nice mangrove snapper behind him. So I decided if he gave me a good shot, I'd take it and swam right up to me. Gave me a really good shot. These fish here weren't the smartest. Definitely not compared to the fish in our area. So they swam right up to us, got a good shot, made sure to retrieve that fish before I headed up to the surface because I didn't want anything to get eaten, but great first mate of the day. Ben again. So we adjusted our spots a little bit on another one of the reef sites on this big artificial reef area. Um, we left the barge and this was all cover pipe. Um, typically we shoot a lot of snapper, occasionally grouper off cover pipe. So I went down with snapper in mind. Um, I hit the bottom. I threw some sand up to try and uh, attract and get some of those bigger snappers attention. Um, as you can see, they kept swimming on over, trying to check out what it was. As you heard Josh say, these fish weren't the smartest. Um, they can still be really sharp in the water, so snapper can be difficult to hit sometimes. So I didn't get the best shot on him, but I hit him in a good holding shot. So that's a, that's kind of as good as you can ask for sometimes when they dart around quick like that. But I got a good shaft in them, take them on up to the surface, and I believe this was another one around that 18-20 mark. So really nice fat butterball snapper. Hey guys, Josh again. On this dive, I've already been down here for a while. This is a pretty long dive. I'm just chilling out, looking for any big mangrove snapper. Saw that one. I was contemplating whether I wanted to take a shot, but none of them were really impressing me with how big they were. So I was just holding off, waiting to see the one that I really liked. But we were about to change spots anyways, so I decided I would take a shot on the biggest one that came up to me because mangrove snapper are really good to eat. So, <clears throat> saw this one swim out, and I decided I'd go ahead and take the shot. Shot right under it. Not exactly dialed in. But when I am, I'm gonna be a sniper. Alrighty, it is 12:17. We are at a new spot now. We're at about 75 feet. We got one, two. Three full grown snapper, one little sheep's head there. Ben just said he saw a big one, so we're anchoring up. And we're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna hop in the water and hopefully get some big fish. So we changed spots, and this is my first dive on this new number. Um, I had my head tucked, and the second I looked up, I saw a gigantic snapper, probably seven or so pound snapper up in the water column. I took a shot, I hit him kind of low, I think. I'm not quite sure what happened. He ended up ripping off. 
Um, but this specific style of structure on the bottom, slabs or any sort of really tight, ledgy stuff that Snapper can wedge into, is typically loaded. So I kept swimming around, I moved a little bit down on the number, and went down again, turned my head up, and another big school of Snapper. There was multiple really, really nice Snapper in the school. Um, the one I ended up shooting was over seven pounds, um, and there was more than one of them in there. As you can see, the one that crosses in front of him right there was also really big, but I had my eyes fixed on this guy. Um, he wasn't even the biggest we shot that day, but he gave me a really nice shot. I was very patient, got a good holding shot. Um, I wasn't even worried about it. Hit him like kind of mid-body, um, and then on the way up, he almost ripped off, and I didn't even realize because I thought he was just on there fine. So once I got up by the surface, I slowed down my swimming to make sure I could retrieve him, um, got my hands on him, and then took him to the boat. That guy was, uh, I think, 24 and 3 quarters and over 7 pounds, so very nice mangrove snapper there. Hey guys, Josh again. Ben just secured that real nice mangrove snapper there. Ended up being about 24 and 3 quarters. So I hopped in the water here, headed down to the bottom, and as soon as I'm down here, I was grunting a little bit, and that nice mangrove swam right over there, real curious. Got a good holding shot. I knew I was gonna not have it rip out, so I kept constant tension on it. Pulled him right up, and then I headed up to the surface. Pretty good dive. Ben again. So as you guys can tell, when we moved a little bit farther out in depth and a little bit less vis visibility, we started bumping into much better sized fish. Um, everybody that was diving, me, Josh, everybody out there was seeing much better quality fish almost right away. Um, this snapper went to duck in, um, and we'd already shot at a couple, so they were holding much tighter to the bottom, much closer. So I knew if I didn't get a shot on him before he ducked in there, I might not see him again. So the second he went to duck in, pulled the trigger, um, kind of let him a little bit, hit him right behind the gill plate, really good holding shot. Um, got hands on both sides of him and a hand on his gill plate, and uh, he kind of worked himself out for me. This snapper was bigger than the other one I shot. He was over 25 inches and over 7 pounds, so absolute donkey mangrove here. Um, and super excited to have him and take him to the boat. So this dive here is my last dive on this spot. Ben just secured a nice one. I got a pretty good one off this spot as well. And I'm looking around. I spot a pretty good one right up there in the distance. Go to take the shot and that small one swims right in the way as soon as I go to take the shot on him. Completely stoned the small one, but the big one got away. Sometimes unfortunate stuff like that happens, but you just gotta live with it. Ben again. So we made another depth change. We ran a little bit farther out. We started wreck diving. Um, all these big rainbow runners gave us a pass when we first hopped in the water. And um, after I checked out the number, I decided I wanted to take one if they rolled back around. So I waited. I picked out a really nice one. He gave me a good shot. I shot him right in the middle of the body. Um, and I actually sort of spined him. Um, got a good shot in him. Um, held on. Let him tow me around for just a little second because it was a giant rainbow runner. Got my hands on him and then uh, gutted him, bled him, and put him in the boat because those are awesome sashimi fish. Hey guys, Josh again. This is my perspective of Jesse shooting a pretty nice permit here. We swapped out to a deeper wreck, one we had never seen before, and there was a ton of permit. Jesse's got that big wood gun, and he gets a really good shot. And I'll kind of just let you guys watch how the rest of it unfolds. So Jesse just secured that nice permit there, and I spotted a pretty good school show up. I decided if I was going to get a good shot, I'd go ahead and take it. Ben's up there letting me know that he's ready to help out, so I swim towards this bigger one, go to take the shot, shoot just below it. So while I was watching Josh, I happened to notice that there was yellowtail scooting all around up in the water column. Um, you typically see this over deep wrecks, it's pretty common, um, but they can be hard to get close to. So this guy was kind of spinning. He let me get close, but he was kind of wouldn't give me a good shot. So once he slowed down for a second, I took a shot, um, hit him right in his top of his head and out his gill plate. Um, 
sort of stoned like one side of him as you could see and then he sort of woke up um, took him on up to the surface very very nice yellow tail and um, that technique of coming just slowly down and directly above fish like that has helped me land several really nice yellow tail like this um, so far this year this guy was i don't know his length but very very healthy yellow tail very long and uh, just a beauty so after that um, josh was still scooting around looking for his permit he went down and while he was down there the permit kind of swam away from him and he grunted at me hey come down like he was out of breath and let me know hey there's something good down there so i Got a good breath, went down. There was two APs. There was that little guy I just turned my head at and this big one. I saw the big one first, decided to commit to him, give him the little octopus fingers. Um, it was a quick duck dive, so I didn't have too much air. The second he gave me a good shot, I took it. Um, only like six inches of the end of my shaft didn't pass through. Other than that, I got incredibly good penetration, really good holding shot. I thought he was done for. Um, on the way swimming up, my belt fell off. Thankfully, Josh was there to help help me. Um, I'd also just shot that yellowtail, so it was actually stuffed under my wetsuit because I didn't feel like taking him back to the boat, and I was watching Josh. Um, and I wanted to be there for him in case he shot a big permit. So, unfortunately, somehow, he pulled off. I got to the surface. I looked down. The first thing I see is Josh like he's gone. After that, I kept diving. This big, big permit strolled off solo um, and came right over to me. I popped my GoPro on and uh, made a really good shot. As you can see, he started bleeding right away, and instead of me putting the heat on him before I got to the surface, I knew he was going to give me a run for my money unless I just let him run. Um, didn't put heat on him so he wouldn't fight. The second I got to the surface, I went crazy, pulled as hard as I could, got him up in the water column. Jesse put a really nice shot in him just in case he pulled off. Um, he'd already lost a lot of blood, but as you can see here, he's still pumping. Um, I tried to brain him. He was just a little squirmy still. Got my hands on him and then took this guy to the boat. He was huge. He was over 33 pounds, so giant permit. So Ben got that nice permit, and while that fish was down here, I'm headed down making sure it doesn't get eaten by any Goliath grouper. But clearly, none of them could actually take a bite out of it, and I knew Ben had Jesse and Jake with him, so I decided to go down and take a shot on this mutton here. Don't get to see a bunch of these where we're diving, so I was pretty focused on taking the shot there and unfortunately I'm still not dialed in with that new gun it just missed. So after Josh had that encounter with the mutton I swim my permit back to the boat for a quick bit. Hey guys what's going on I'm doing a little update since Josh is in the water. Um, today's been awesome we've jumped around hit all new numbers um, checked a bunch of stuff a lot of it's been really really fishy. Um, Jesse shot a really nice permit big rainbow runner some giant snapper like 25 inch snapper some really big snapper we got a bunch of them and uh nice fat yellow tail josh got a sheep set earlier for his tournament and then i just shot a 33 34 pound permit um it's the biggest one i've ever shot going um on the on a scale he just was a little wobbly because the boat's shaking but i mean absolute giant fish jesse put a backup shot in him and just an absolute giant permit. Um, there's some giant ones here. I don't know if we're uh, inside the 30 mile mark or not, so I don't know if we'll be able to go uh, hit this stuff in our upcoming fire charity tournament. So we shall see about that, but there are some giants here that we can really benefit from. So really great find. Um, did lose an AP, which sucks. Josh is uh, in the water, still trying to track down a big AP for himself. And then we're gonna head on back. Hey guys, Josh here. Ben just secured that nice permit there, got back to the boat with all the boys, and I decided I was gonna take a couple more dives trying to shoot an AP. As you see out in the distance, there's one AP behind those permit. He wasn't too massive, but I was gonna take the shot if I got close enough, and as soon as I was getting in, in range with him, I spotted one that was much bigger. He was about 35 pounds, 30-ish. So I decided I was going to try and get a shot off on him, but he just turned as soon as I swam towards him. So unfortunately, I didn't get close enough to take a shot on those. But I get up to the surface, I'm taking my next breaths, and as I look back down, those two smaller APs swam right under me. It was pretty late in the day, and we were still planning on going to the Keys right after this. So I decided I was just going to go down and take one of these guys. He gave me a really good shot, took it right through the gill plates, and didn't let him take any line, just swim up to the surface because I knew I wasn't with any buddies. So I just wanted to play it safe and get that fish to me.
got the new gun. Pelagic Series 130, Red Tide. Pretty decent AP, not giant, but definitely legal, so. Couldn't be more psyched for the first day. Got some nice snapper. The boys got some nice permit. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. We're headed for the Keys, probably. And definitely a great way to end the day. Just got back. It's the haul from day one. Bunch of nice permit, nice AP, and some really big snapper right there. Great way to end the day there. Shot that last AP. Thank you guys for watching. If you really enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button, and we'll catch you in the next one.